Everyone is mad at Yamashita in the latest chapter of Kengen Omega. Now, if you've actually had any discussion in regards to the latest chapter, chapter 270 of Kengen Omega, whether it's on Reddit, whether it's on Discord, or even on my channel, because these comments are on my channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and it is Yamashita's dialogue at the end of the fight between Kano and Julius, where he says, in all honesty, this match came down to a razor thin margin. That dialogue. People are really not happy about that dialogue. It's even become quite a funny meme where you have a character getting loaded and they just insert Yamashita's dialogue there because people feel like they're being gaslit by Yamashita's dialogue here that suggests that the fight between Kano versus Julius was a high div when that is clearly not the case. And in moments like this, it is a little bit, let's say, immersion breaking when you feel like the author is trying to tell you what to actually think. And so I get that frustration. However, this is where the plot twist of the video is, quite early actually, because that is not what Yamashita said. He doesn't say that the fight was a high diff. In fact, I'm going to read all of the dialogue from the end of the fight specifically so that we understand what Yamashita is saying. And it starts like this. Yamashita, he's of course shouting in surprise at the end of the fight. He says that. That exchange was almost frightening. Akiyama replies, frightening how? And of course, Yamashita elaborates. He says, after that charge that was in the beginning of this chapter, remember, that first grab was a bluff. Julius's real goal was to get Kano to come in close. Akiyama replies in surprise. He says, you mean he took the dragon shot on purpose? Yamashita then replies, yeah, Julius did that to lure him in. Also that he could catch him the moment he stopped moving. He then continues, he says, he had to shift the point of impact to avoid a fatal blow, but even so, I can't believe he would willingly take a strike from Kano. Akiyama then replies, it sure gives you the chills. That's a self-sacrificial strategy, all right. And then we have Yamashita replying to that, of course, saying, if that wrist lock, Kano's wrist lock, had come a split second later, the outcome may have been different. In all honesty, this match came down to a razor thin margin unlike the visible damage would suggest. And so now that we have all the dialogue here, it's clear that Yamashita actually isn't talking about the fight as a whole. He's talking about the final moment of the fight that happened in that chapter. And so the fight itself could end up being, let's say, a mid diff with a very dangerous exchange at the end. However, this controversy has sort of brought to light a bigger issue that I do want to talk about and that is the uncharitability of how some of the dialogue and events in Kangen Omega are interpreted. Because again, to say Yamashita is saying this fight was a high diff is not a charitable interpretation of what I've just read. But this isn't the first time something like this has happened. What comes to mind quite easily actually is when the connector said he would show Koga how to defeat him. I remember everyone's reaction when that happened and people were mad because they thought Koga was going to become Shen Wulong's student. He was going to get all this training and then the next chapter happens and both Koga and Oma get like, let's say, short pointers from Shen Wulong. No one complained that Oma got a few pointers from Shen Wulong and the situation wasn't nearly as bad as what people thought. And there are probably a lot more cases like, for example, you were too strong. That line of dialogue, meme to high heaven, for similar reasons that Yamashita's line of dialogue is as well as this nonsensical line that doesn't have any logical explanation behind it. 
which by the way, I've done an analysis on Edward Wu and break down exactly why that line of dialogue makes sense. And to be fair, I think most people understand what Yamashita was saying here because most people lean towards mid diff, maybe high diff, but probably mid diff, which is of course where I stand as well. But it's honestly a little bit, let's say frustrating when certain pieces of dialogues and events in the Kengi no Omega story are taken in the worst possible interpretation you could have. And that is seemingly how certain people are choosing to read the story. And that's where this controversy really stems from. A greater problem from people that are really not charitable in their interpretation of what happens in the Kengen Omega story. But yeah, that's the video. If you want me to cover more Kengen content like this, although this is a controversial subject, I don't know if there's any more I can cover, but I do cover Kengen Omega. Don't forget to like and sub, and until next time, take it easy.